I'm Chiu Wang. Um, I'm the director of County Catherine here at uh, New York Presbyterian Cornell campus. In terms of the structural program, uh, one can honestly say that uh, the New York Presbyterian uh, play a large role in terms of initiate um, and um, the, the entire uh, TEVA program, for example, in this country. And because of that, uh, we have uh, currently one of the largest one in the country. Um, that alone is a remarkable feat uh, in terms of serving the, the population. From month to month, year on year, we actually have uh, learned from each other and improved um, the, pro the program and, and uh, as a result it reflects in terms of the uh, procedural results that we have, which is also what ranked one of the top um, results uh, in the country. New York Presbyterian, and I tell every single patient actually uh, that come across our, our door here, uh, and in a very honest fashion, I, I can't think of any other hospital in New York region or uh, outside New York region uh, that an administration would enable the physician to get in any technology, uh, be it approved technology or in the case of, uh, of a clinical trial technology, um, to let the physician play a major role in, in getting those um, um, devices and medical uh, technologies in um, without a hesitation. Um, besides the the fact that um, the New York Presbyterian is one of the first, uh, for example, um, to carry out um, um, the randomized trial um, for the transcatheter aortic trans valve replacement um, program. Um, we also initiated for the, for the mitral space, for example, uh, the New York, New York Presbyterian Hospital is also amongst the first um, to uh, carry out uh, this clinical trial that led to its approval also uh, in the mitral space. Um, in addition, I think uh, throughout the last few years, um, New York Presbyterian also have developed and, and, and involved uh, itself with a number of second generation and third generation devices so that we can further serve our patient uh, better uh, in terms of um, the trans valve space as well as the upcoming virtual space as well. Like any human relationship, the more you work with each other, the more you talk to each other, the more you interact with each other, um, it sort of translates into the coordination, both in the pre-pending stage of the procedure as well as in the procedure itself, it's all become much more smooth and much more coordinated, um, and it's almost like a dance. Uh, the more, more often you sort of practice together, um, it will make the whole procedure uh, smoother, and as a result, it translates into a better clinical outcome for the patients. I'm quite proud of my colleagues. Uh, all of us working in the New Presbyterian Hospital take a leadership role uh, in uh, in uh, further advancing uh, that technology into a lower risk patient cohort. Uh, we already finished and got approval for the intermediate risk. I think New York Presbyterian physicians play a critical role uh, in terms of pushing the technology and and and. Um, assuming a leadership role in terms of clinical trial to get approval for the TAVR um, procedure, not just for the high-risk patient or no-option patient, but currently approved for intermediate-risk patient. I think uh, New York Presbyterian will continue to play a leadership role um, because of established record um, that in the next five years, although the TVA, TAVR tablet program has become more mature, however, it is still in a stage that we can have incremental and meaningful impact on the patient care, such as um, the profile of the, of the device will continue uh, to be uh, um, getting smaller and smaller. Um, such as the introduction of uh, cerebral protection devices. Um, as is, without that, TAVR has already rivaled in terms of surgery um, in, in uh, uh, mitigating the incidence of uh, uh, stroke um, 
in the periprocedural period. The heart is not just one valve. Uh, there are other valve spaces that we begin to explore, um, such as the mitral space, which I can't even count with my toes and hands. Uh, there's probably more company in that particular space uh, than I can count currently. Um, the, I think that in the next five years or so, it, the, the, the space will become more mature, and there will be more and more introduction of a pivotal trial uh, in, in that particular space. And I'm, sh I'm quite confident that uh, the New York Presbyterian will be in the forefront of it.